Howdy and Frank show. Steve Byrne, the star of Sullivan and Son. Get him in here. Uh, Steve is a Come friend on, we've been of the waiting show. All week. He's been uh, he's been on the show a couple different times, and now look at him, big, big famous TV superstar, star. Steve Byrne. Hey, Steve, good to see you. How you doing, man? Good. This huh. is uh, <laughs> this is this is a a little different than last time we hung out. A I know, bit. I know. A little different, a little different. <laughs> Comple- yeah, completely different setting. Uh, you got this uh, hit Congratulations. TV show. Thank to, you to too. You as well. That was awesome. Yeah. TBS and uh, nice. in your second season now with Sullivan and Son, right? Yeah. It's already started the season, right? Yeah, yeah. We had the uh, season premiere last Thursday with Ken Jeong, who you guys know from The Hangover. People know him as Mr. Chow, the man who jumps out of a trunk naked. I know him as an Asian who set Asian men back another six and a half inches. <laughs> So, <laughs> F you can. <laughs> He's the best, though. He was he was awesome. Man. And, and and what perfect timing. You know, we're going up against Game 7 of the NBA Finals. So right. Yeah, it just worked out perfectly. Yeah, it couldn't have been any better. Yeah. All, all that needs to happen is a tightrope walker to do with Thursday night as well. And it's just like, let's just call it New Year's. <laughs> uh, Steve Byrne hanging out with us. Star of Sullivan and Sons on TBS Thursdays at 10 p.m. Now, Sullivan and Son is about Steve Sullivan, who's played by Steve Byrne, leaving behind his life in New York as a successful corporate attorney to take over the family bar in a working-class Pittsburgh neighborhood. And I see here, Steve, that uh, your mom is... You have a Korean mother, an Irish father. Yes. You're originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and you now reside in Los Angeles. Is it weird that your character is kind of just like you? <laughs> it's shocking. <laughs> Barely got that out. Yeah. I know. I couldn't yeah. keep a straight face. <laughs> what well, are the right chances? About, you're right about Yacht. what you know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, it just, just growing up Korean and Irish, I wanted America know, to know the, the pain that I endured growing up with black hair and red pubes. <laughs> So that's the gist of the show. No, it's a great bar show. It's a, it's a fun it really is. summer yeah. sitcom. It's reminiscent of sitcoms I grew up with. You know, I get to work with Rob Long, who did Cheers. He was the boss on Cheers for like the last eight years, and Vince Vaughn and Peter Billingsley. So it's not a bad crew uh, to get to work with. Yeah, you have a, a great cast. I mean, the relationship you have uh, on screen is is great. I mean, the chemistry, and then off screen, you're all buddies too. I see, you know, like uh, you, you tweeting out. You went to. Uh, an uh, NHL playoff game, and y'all y'all hang out together. Yeah, and have uh, I mean, you knew each other doing comedy, stand up, right? Yeah, w- you know, I, I knew them doing stand up uh, for years, and so I, when I wrote the original pilot, I wrote Roy, Owen, and Ahmed as types of guys I wanted on the show. I never thought in a million years I'd get all three of them, but that's a testament to TBS and what great partners they are. But we've got great comics that have been on the show, like Ken Jung was a stand up yeah. comic before he was in The Hangover. Uh, Billy Gardell stops by, Kunal from uh, Big Bang Theory is doing next week. Uh, and it's so funny, when I was driving here, I passed this mattress store. <laughs> so when I first, literally, I first came to L.A., I flew from New York as a comic, and I was doing Comic View, BET's Comic View, and I was hanging out with Tony Rock, who's Chris Rock's little brother, who was yeah. on a show yeah. at the time, and I knew him. So he's like, yeah, let's hang out. I'll show you around, and we'll get some lunch at Roscoe's, and we'll go, uh, you know, you got, I got to go pick out a bed. You want to go with me? I was like, yeah. So the next week... <laughs> It's an odd next, thing for a buddy to have. It, it's yeah. kind of weird. What a yeah. first date. Ross goes at a mattress store. So, <laughs> so I'm at a comedy club in New York City called the Comedy Cellar, and I walk in, and Tony's sitting in this in the in the comedian's booth where we all hang out. And I I put my bag there, and I I was at the bar talking to a girl. I'm like, hey, Tony, can you throw my bag? And he throws the bag over to me, and it falls on the ground. And my camera in there, my cell phone, and everything fell. I'm like, dude, you almost broke my thing. So I went over, and he's reading a newspaper. I grabbed it, and I crunched it up, and I threw it in the garbage can. And he goes, you. As, you know, SOB, yeah, yeah. all the right, all these right, swear right. words, whatever. He came over and he started punching me, and he got me up against the bar and he's wailing on me, and I'm laughing. I'm like, "Is this real?" And he and then he's like, "Brooklyn's in the house. You mess with Brooklyn, you step to Brooklyn. I'm gonna mess you up." All this. Stri- I'm like, "What the?" <laughs> and he's coming at me, and I didn't realize on the newspaper was a picture of him. It was an article on him, and I threw it out. So he's Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. He's yelling all this stuff. Finally, the other comics break it up. He's all the way at the other end. He goes, I'm going to beat your ass, Burn. I go, hey, man. And this is what came out of my mouth. I helped you pick out a bed. I was like, oh. <laughs> Why? Of all the... And Ben Bailey, the, the guy who was on Cash Cab, just uh, held, was holding me back. And he turned around. He just looked at me. He goes, really, dude? Uh, that's <laughs> that's your comeback? <laughs> From Brooklyn's in the house. To yeah. I helped I mean, you pick out a bed. He deflated him yeah. a little bit. He's like, yeah, he did help me pick out yeah. that, that, uh, yeah, that, that I know, pillow yeah. top. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and anybody who's gone mattress shopping knows that takes a while. You're like, this one or this one? This one or this one? I don't know. This one, lay you on lay that. down you together. You get on that side. Let's see if it... No, it's that's street, nice. right? That's, yeah, that's street. so that's street. street. That's what G-Unit and 50 Cent do, right? And like the videos, they just hang out at mattress Yo, man, store. I helped you pick out your, your, your temple Pedic. <laughs> Steve Byrne hanging out with us. Oh, my God. Um, that's star funny. of Sullivan and Son on TBS Thursdays at 10 p.m. It's a, a hilarious bar <laughs> comedy. <laughs> Uh, based on uh, Steve Burns' life, and uh, we like we had Owen Benjamin on the show. He's on on your I'm show sorry as well. About that. I know. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Wait, he's uh, he ain't ugly as they say. Yeah, Heidi wants to have his babies. Really? Yeah. Well, I just, I just look seven. at yeah, yeah. I just look at I just look at men as I'm like, ooh, he'd make pretty babies. Hmm. We haven't had Roy on the show yet. Roy Wood Jr. Uh, and or Ahmed 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 is a friend of the show as well. We're yeah. gonna yes. have him in at some point uh, to talk about this. I mean, I love all those guys and. Uh, What's great is I saw them do uh, their their comedy tour, the Sullivan and Son comedy tour over to Flappers in Burbank. These guys are hilarious, and to have those, such great stand-ups on the show and how they're touring together and promoting the show, it's like a brilliant idea. I don't think anyone's ever even done that or had this many stand-up comedians on as, on one cast and saying, "Hey, mm-hmm. let's all go out together as a Sullivan and Son comedy tour." And smart, uh, it, they're going to have a couple more shows here, two upcoming shows uh, on. Uh, let's see. June nineteenth. Is it nineteenth? June nineteenth. That's today. That's today. Oh, it's my, today. Yeah. My yeah. God, today. <laughs> my God. I'm like, really? At the uh, Hollywood, uh, the Improv, Hollywood, California, and on uh, July fifth through the thirteenth at the Improv in Irvine. So uh, definitely go check out the Sullivan and Son the comedy tour. And with Sullivan and the Son, the show. show, it is one of those shows where you're watching. You're like, God, I want to go to that bar and have a beer. Like, I just want to just sit. Is there and have a, a dream of yours to open up a real bar someday? Well, well, we do. <laughs> we like. I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying this, but we, when the audience leaves, people always think it's a laugh track. It's like no, th- we actually earn the laughs on the show. Um, and if a joke bombs, the writers keep keep coming up with yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Vince Vaughn's always there, and he'll improv great lines, and then we'll we'll get the laugh, you know, which is great. But then the audience leaves, and around ten thirty, eleven. We turn it into a real bar, uh, so it's pretty fun. It, it actually, yeah, we hook up the kegs, and I think last week we went through two kegs or something. Like that. So <laughs> what does your mom? What, damage. what does your mom think about your mom on the show? She, oh, it, it's her. It is her. My mom is a stone cold like tiger mom, and it's totally her. And Jody Long, it's so funny. Like Jody Long is Chinese and Japanese and plays my Korean mom. Right. Dan Lurie is Italian and plays my Irish father. It's so, I'm like, ah, how did I go 0 for 2 with the Asian? It's like you'd think. Does she, yeah. does your mother agree that that is her? I mean, to you, yes, that she oh, nails yeah. your mom, but as far as your mom watching us, she's nothing like me. No, she's like, that's exactly like me. She yeah. believes it too. Oh, yeah, exactly. well, like saying, you, you're you going to call me when you need some help with a little with a little bitch tone in your voice. It's like, oh. <laughs> It's like, that's, that's, that's mommy. That's your mom. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, we are touring, though. It's funny. When you when you go on a national tour with comedians, it's fun. And we're promoting it. We're filming together. It's awesome working with each other. But when you fly across the country with a gentleman named Ahmed Ahmed, oh, it's God. a different flying experience. Because I don't think the random searches are as random as they make them out to seem. So it's like, we always it's see like, him. Ahmed, Ahmed slowing us down. Like, yeah. I'm already through. Come on. Just shave before you get to the airport. At least. I mean, <laughs> throw him a bone. But it's like, hey, we'll see you at Cinnabon at the food court or hopefully Cleveland. <laughs> He's never getting through. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you've been to Afghanistan and Iraq, too. Have- yeah, those are... I, I, 2004, I went over with Colin Quinn because my brother served in the Army. He was stationed at Camp Victory North. So Colin was kind enough to bring me along so I could actually hang out with my brother in a war zone and do some jokes. And ever since then, I've got bitten by the bug. So once a year, I'll try to go over and we actually went last year the guys and I to the Middle East to uh to a bunch of different bases and I think it's just important to acknowledge the service that the men and women do for our country. They're so appreciative of, you know, you coming over there probably and making them laugh. Yeah. Not a lot of funny stuff going on over there. No, there really isn't and there's not a lot to do. You can only play Xbox for so much and, you know, there's no alcohol allowed, there's no oh. porn allowed, so yeah. it's really tough oh. for them, you know? And I, I didn't really realize what that was like until I was watching uh, Louis, Louis C.K.'s show and his, his oh, yeah. finale of his first season, I think it was, was uh, going over to Afghanistan and yeah. in, the, in the helicopter and, you know, you're flying out there and you and could get shot down and just do it like a, a little tent like a little bay a little you know we put it up out here and there's like 20 guys there and you're doing your stand-up for 20 guys yeah well i remember we got dropped off once by the literally by a black hawk dropped us off by this syrian border it was like we were up three miles away and we were per- performed for like these special forces guys and they were all yoked like six four they look like abercrombie model you would be in heaven by right the way. I'd be like, Ooh, you would good, absolutely good. be in heaven good baby daddy there um but they were, they were just, you know these guys could kill you with a pinky. 
And we just performed in like this bombed out basement. It looked like a fight club. And it was like one of the best audiences I've ever had in my life. It, it's just, it's a most remarkable experience. And after you go over there, you come back, you will never complain about anything ever again. Ever. Did you have to win them? I mean, were they were they like in fight mode? Where they're sitting there, it's like, make me laugh. Right. And then you just, like, you had to, and then all of a sudden you broke that, and they're just like, ah, ha, ha, slapping their knees. Or were they already like, ready. just couldn't wait? I think wait. they were ready, yeah. Because okay. it's like, you know, look, I mean, especially the Special Forces guys, they're all in the best shape. And it's like, I'm... They had full face paint and everything. You're yeah. like, is there anybody here? They all walk out from the wall. But do you prefer... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. right. like oh room, I'm leaning against the wall, it's just a dude. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're all uh, killing machines, and it's like, how can you not laugh at a 38-year-old 30 man who's got the body of a 12-year-old Vietnamese with a beer gut? It's like, please, please enjoy this. This is what we're fighting for? Yeah. Great. Yeah, this is what, this awesome. is what it's about. <laughs> Just throw on the towel. Steve, we were talking right before you walked in about uh, personal fashion disasters. When you look back in your history of wardrobe, uh, is there something that you were like, oh my god, I, I thought this was the, such a kick-ass look, and looking back, I... I I'm embarrassed at myself. One thing I'd never be caught inside of uh, the rest of my life would be Denise Sapienza. She was a girl I was dating. <laughs> uh, but probably my my starter jackets, because I oh. grew up like loving Belle Biv DeVoe. <laughs> Oh my God! ABC, BBD, all that stuff, yeah, yeah. and it was always like starter. I had this Michigan starter outfit. It was, I mean, it just looked horrible. I looked like Super Dave Osborne. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was sponsored by Michigan. It was just a horrible outfit. I, I had some but bad ones. But at the time, you're like, oh, my oh God. yeah. Do you remember jams? Of course, jams. Jams. Sure. jams. They were like. Uh, Hawaiian kind of print, like long, yeah. short. So you like, had jams on your Michigan jacket. I had jams. I had skids. Remember the? I don't know. It was skids. like the. Uh, it was like the the, uh, the 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 road sign where the cars go like going oh, off yeah, the road yeah, or whatever yeah. slippery one wet sign. They were shoes, right? Are and they, they were shoes just no. Shorts? They were horrible pants. Oh. They were like clown pants. <laughs> <laughs> Hyper colors, I remember those, oh. where you put the shirt on, then you it, it changes colors oh, yeah. with your body temperature. It, 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 but the, like moon the, shirts. The color would always change under my armpits because I was in eighth grade. I yeah. just black stain. <laughs> Instead of being white, they turned fluorescent pink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ew, on, a, you're on, on a fluorescent green shirt, the fluorescent era, I hated oh, too. God. I mean, Flu like yeah, well, we we caught wind of it. I mean, we were the eighties, nineties. It was just horrible. Absolutely horrible. Steve, thank you so much for coming in. Anytime, dude, you want to stop in and promote Thank you guys so much for having me. I appreciate it. Hilarious show. Definitely really watch. Congrats to you guys. Thank, thank you. you, man. Yeah. Sullivan and Son on TBS, Thursdays at 10 p.m. It is a great show. Okay, great so comedy. Yeah. We, we live tweet during our shows, too. Oh, you do? Me and the fellas, yeah. And you can actually follow Steve at Steve Byrne Live. Uh, spell it B Y R N E. Steve Byrne live on That's Twitter. That's the Korean version, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steve or Byrne? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank we got to take a break. We're going to come right back. We are Heidi and Frank. Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. To get more samples like this and hear all the fun we have, you can do that at 955KLOS.com. Now, to get the show in its entirety on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day. All you have to do is go to HeidiAndFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.